So, my subscribers, you guys have spoken. I asked you guys to place down in the comments section on my community page on YouTube and tell me about your most complimented fragrances. So, I've tallied everything up, and today we're going to get into it. Your 10 most complimented fragrances and a few honorable mentions. Let's get it. What's going on, YouTube? I'm Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy on the channel where we talk about fragrance, we talk about fashion, we get into some lifestyle content a little bit as well. So, if any of that sounds interesting to you, I hope you would consider uh, hitting the subscribe button. If you do that, don't forget, man, to hit the bell icon as well and make sure you set it to all. Uh, that way you get all the videos that I upload on the channel. So on today, guys, you heard it in the intro. Listen, I asked you guys a few, uh, maybe about two weeks ago to comment on my community tab and tell me what are your most complimented fragrances? Because I know I'm not the only person in the world that gets compliments when they wear a certain fragrance. So I wanted to hear from you guys and find out, hey, what are some of the fragrances that you guys are wearing that actually pulls in compliments for you as well? So again, I've tallied everything up and we're gonna get into that today. I'm excited. Um, I will say that um, I see some of the usual suspects on this list. And what I mean by that is some of the ones that gets me compliments as well. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it, man. So let's run the intro real quick. And when I come back, your 10, most complimented fragrances with a few honorable mentions coming right up after the intro. So you know how we do, you know how we rock. If you wanna see what you guys chose, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Sky. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I will say that I have a few honorable mentions, and uh, let me run those really quick. Uh, now, when it comes to the honorable mentions, most of these had about at least four votes. So anything that was made the top 10 uh, had over four votes, but there were a few fragrances that got, that got four votes, and I want to just mention those really quick. This one kind of surprised me. I've been kind of sleeping on this one. Uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Parfum. Um, the Le Parfum, not the Le Beau, but the Le Parfum, I think this came out in 2020. Very sweet, kind of sultry, seductive fragrance. A little bit playful, but I can see how this one would, would get you compliments. So I'm going to make sure I kind of pay close attention to this one because I have myself kind of slept on this one, but that was one of your picks. Wasn't surprised at all about this one, man, from Paco Rabanne, One Million Lucky. This honey and plum fragrance that you guys can see, I wear it a lot, does pull in the compliments. It's a very sexy fragrance and a very good uh, value uh, when you just start talking about the price point. So, not surprised. Definitely a compliment monster. One Million Lucky. And, of course, the very popular Baccarat Rouge 540. Baccarat Rouge 540, very popular fragrance. Of course, you got the saffron in here and, you know, that kind of uh, vibe that people say it kind of smells like the dentist's office. So, yeah, I get that kind of stuff, kind of burnt, sugary, of course. But this is a very good fragrance. And, again, not surprised that this one gets you guys compliments. Another honorable mention was this one from Nishane, which is Hachi Vibe. Hachi Vibe. You got the pineapple on this with the... The oak moss, you know, that very earthy oak moss and patchouli dry down. So very unique scent from the standpoint that, you know, when people compare it to Aventus, like I said, to me, it's not really an Aventus kind of fragrance. It just has the pineapple in there. Uh, but again, on that dry down, we get the oak moss and the patchouli. It's really, really um, nice, earthy, woody scent when it dries down. So definitely one that gets me compliments as well. And it performs great. And then the last honorable mention is this one from Louis Vuitton, Ombre Nomad. Now, I won't say that I was surprised that you, some of you guys mentioned this one because it is a very, a very polarizing scent. Uh, very much, of course, a oud heavy rose oud fragrance with some saffron and raspberry and all that kind of stuff. But one of my go-tos, I call this one of my showstopper fragrances. So I'm happy to hear that this has been working for you guys as well because a lot of people don't really talk about this fragrance, but again, 
very, very much a showstopper. So I'm glad to hear that it's getting you guys compliments as well. Guys, right before we jump into the actual top 10 really quick, I want to go ahead and thank T. Hanley for sponsoring today's video. Listen, compliments, guys. I have been one of the first people to say this, and I will continue to say it. Compliments, a lot of it has to do with the overall presentation. So how you smell, how you look as well. And that's why I like to recommend T. Hanley to you guys, because you got to be looking good, man, all right? You can't just... You know, spray on the fragrance and then think it's going to do all the magic and all the work for you. You got to present the best version of yourself every day. And T. Hanley has been helping me to do that for the past two years. It's a very, very simple uh, routine. And that's how we like it as men. We like stuff simple. And they've made it very simple, very uncomplicated, very easy to understand. Uh, with really the base is a four-step system. You're going to apply the uh, morning in the morning, you're gonna apply the, uh, of course, wash your face first, and then you're gonna follow that up with the AM moisturizer. You guys, you gotta keep your skin hydrated when you go out there uh, in the world every day. So make sure that you put that moisturizer on after you wash your face in the morning. Then, of course, in the evening time, you wanna wash your face again with the facial wash and follow it up with the PM moisturizer. I think this right here is a point where guys are really missing an opportunity uh, to really help their skin in the evening time because a lot of us, you know, sometimes we get out of the shower or whatever the case may be, we don't always think about making sure we're protecting our skin and keeping it hydrated while we sleep. And that's where the PM moisturizer comes into play. So those four things or doing those four things is going to complete what's called the level one skin care system. And that's what I really recommend to you guys. Now, if you have some other uh, areas of opportunity with your skin as well, maybe you know, the, the serum is going to help uh, your skin. Or, of course, for me, the uh, eye serum because it really helps to reduce those wrinkles. There's a lot of other products that they have as well, but I recommend at least starting with the Level 1 system. And, guys, of course, you are my subscribers, and because you are, T-Channel is going to hook you up. So go ahead and click on the link down in the description box. You're going to get 25% off of your first order. And, of course, you're going to get a free gift as well. I always say this. That's a win-win situation. So don't delay, guys, if you need some help with your skin or if you just want to make sure uh, that you're taking good care of your skin, make sure you go ahead and click on that link down below and get started with a skincare system, of course, that works. All right, guys, now let's go ahead and jump into the top 10 uh, of your most complimented fragrances. And this one came in at the 10th spot from the house of Maison Francis Kirkdown. This is Grand Soir. Grand Soir, a beautiful, creamy, uh, buttery, uh, amber fragrance. One of my favorites when you talk about the category of ambers. One of the best amber fragrances, in my opinion, ever created. And um, I was happy to see that this one made your list. I think this one has kind of goes flying under the radar as it relates to compliments, but I can definitely see how this will really uh, get you some compliments, especially if you're dressed up. I think this one would play really well. Uh, with that type of attire. But in the 10th spot of your most complimented fragrances was this from MFK, which is Grand Soir. Coming in in the ninth spot, now there were several variations, variations of this fragrances that you guys mentioned, but not at all surprised to see it on the list from Christian Dior. Of course, this is Dior Sauvage. And I just actually grabbed the EDT for this video. Some of you said the Elixir, um, but most of you just said Sauvage. Um, so I'm assuming... Uh, either of those iterations, but not surprised to see that this was on the list. Hey, that's what a lot of people like this fragrance for. It's a compliment getter. Some people hold it hostage because a lot of people wear it, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, my motto is only one me. And uh, so I don't care what anybody else is wearing. If I like it, I'm a rocket. So not surprised to see Dior Sauvage on the list. It's a compliment getter for me. Glad to hear that's working for you guys as well. So the ninth spot from the house of Christian Dior, this is Dior Sauvage. All right, now coming in at the eighth spot, one of the best smelling fragrances in my entire collection. Not surprised that this is on the list for you guys as well. From the Killian, this is Angel Share. Angel Share, beautiful praline, cognac, boozy. Oh my gosh, this thing smells so good. And it is the perfect time of the year, guys, that uh, to wear this fragrance, the fall and winter is where this fragrance shines, in my opinion. And uh, again, it's a really good, to me, a really good date night fragrance. So I could see you being out on a date, 
uh, wearing a fragrance like this and, you know, your female counterpart telling you that you smell uh, pretty good wearing this. So, again, not surprised to see this on the list. Um, most of these fragrances that you guys, yeah, well, all of the fragrances actually that you guys talked about, for the most part, has gotten me compliments as well. So, I get it. A spot, go to this one from the house of Killian. Ain't no shit. Now, in the seventh spot, another one that is known for getting compliments, and this is from the House of Initial Parfums, and it's this one right here, Oud for Greatness. Oud for Greatness, outside of that Oud that's in here, very woody scent. I love the citruses and the spices in this fragrance as well. Definitely one of those fragrances that is easy to get compliments because not only the scent DNA, but this thing really jumps off of the skin. So that always helps it's never a bad thing if you talk about compliments when a person can actually pick up the fragrance and they don't even have to be that close to you you know a lot of times that contributes to folks getting compliments so i get it makes sense to me as well definitely a compliment getter glass working for you guys from the house of initial parfums this is called oud for greatness all right guys now coming in in the sixth spot man i'm happy to see that this made the list it came out in 2015 i think if i'm not mistaken so it's kind of one that people don't talk about as much anymore, but my goodness, it is amazing. One of the best designer fragrances ever created from the house of Aqua, uh, Giorgio Armani. I'm sorry, this is Aqua Digio Pro Fumo. Aqua Digio Pro Fumo. Oh, man. The original Aqua Digio with incense and patchouli. Cannot go wrong, in my opinion, wearing this thing. It's a versatile scent. You can wear it year round, anytime, any place, anywhere, any season, any reason, and any occasion amazing fragrance this got quite a few votes on the list and i'm glad to see that people are still wearing this and it is still working for you guys so in the sixth spot and went to this one from the house of giorgio armani aqua digio profumo all right now coming in in the fifth spot another fragrance obviously that's not a stranger to a most complimented fragrance list from the house of armand this is club de noe intense man club de noe intense man I really think when I put my nose to this, out of all the replicas, all of the inspired by, all of the dupes, to me, this probably is the closest thing to really capturing the essence of what Creed Aventus is. Amazing fragrance, man. I've told stories before about this fragrance myself as it relates to compliments. I sprayed it one day. I left the house. About five minutes later, my wife came home. And I was heading to go to Walmart before I headed to work. She called me and I asked, what is that you sprayed? It smells so good in here. I was walking into Walmart, got a compliment. And when I got into Walmart, got another compliment. Yep, that's this fragrance right here. I get it. And it makes sense to me that it's on your most complimented list as well. So the fifth spot goes to this one from the house of Club of Arma. <laughs> this is Club de Noe, Intense Man. All right, and how appropriate is this to follow up in the four spot for you guys of your most complimented fragrances? It goes to the actual originator, the king. This is Creed Aventus. You guys see where my bottle is? I'm trying to preserve it. So um, this particular batch that I have, 17 and 01. This stuff smells amazing. That great combination. I think this was one of the batches that was well balanced between the pineapple and the smokiness, the birch. This still, still smells absolutely phenomenal, man. Always gonna be in my collection. It is a compliment getter. One of probably one of the most complimented fragrances in my collection as well. This as well as actually the cologne uh, version of Creed Aventus. So I get it. You got a couple of fragrances on here that kind of have an Aventus type of uh, inspiration behind it. So. It's a DNA that works. So I'm not surprised that this was on your, you guys' list as well. It came in in the fourth spot from the House of Creed. It's the King Creed Aventus. I will admit it did my heart well to see this fragrance on you guys' most complimented list as well. And it came in at the third spot. In the third spot from the House of Amazing Francis Kirk John. This is Oud Satin Mood. Ooh, satin mood. This is just one of those fragrances when I put it to my nose, it just smells so good, man. Of course, you got rose, oud, uh, saffron in this one as well. Uh, two different variations of rose, so it's very, very, very seductive uh, rose, oud fragrance. And again, one that's perfect for those kind of 
going out uh, date night type situations as well as very formal and dressed up. I think this pair is perfectly uh, with the suit or a tuxedo. And again, it's one for me that is highly complimented. And as well as just like I've been saying with a lot of other fragrances on this list, I'm not surprised that it got you guys compliments. So the third spot and your most complimented fragrances went to this one from the House of Amazing Francis Kirk John. This was Oud Satin Oud. All right, guys, now this fragrance came in in the number two spot. Uh, this fragrance, I want to say, had nine votes. And of course, there was only one fragrance that received more votes than this. And that's why it's in the number two spot. But again, I'm not surprised. From the house of East Saint Laurent, this one is called Why Eau de Parfum. Why Eau de Parfum? Definitely a compliment magnet. I mean, you talk about this one, the EDT. Uh, of course, the EDP, the Parfum, all of them are very highly complimented fragrances, but this is the one that you guys mentioned the most, the EDP version. A little bit richer uh, than the original, it has a little bit more of a dense quality to it, which is not a bad thing at all. You know, I love the EDT, but the EDP works just as well. The EDT, EDP, whatever variation of this fragrance you can get your hand on, it's probably gonna get you some compliments and I'm not surprised that it made you guys' list in the number two spot from the house of Yves Laurent. Of course, this is why Eau de Parfum. And coming in at the number one spot on your most complimented fragrance list, uh, I would say I am surprised, not from the standpoint that it's not a great fragrance, but as far as compliments are concerned, I, wasn't, I wouldn't think about this one as being your most complimented. I would have probably figured wouldn't have been surprised if why i made it as your most complimented or savage or club de new intense man but this one definitely one that gets compliments as well from the house of parfum de marley this is layton layton so layton came in the number one spot of your most complimented fragrances and my god this is a good one you got apple, you got the apple, of course, the cardamom. It's a very, very, um, very, very uh, seductive fragrance. One that definitely catches people's attention. It has a mass appeal to it, but it definitely has a certain level of quality to it as well and unique factor to it. So, whereas a lot of times you find mass appealing fragrances to be kind of overly done uh, in some way, shape, or form, this is not. But it still brings that mass appeal and quality to it. But I think when people smell this, the reason why I guess you got a lot of compliments is it has that kind of unique air about it. There's a sophistication to it um, that kind of is unmatched in the, the typical, you know, um, hype beast kind of fragrance category. So in the number one spot on your most complimented fragrance list, definitely one of my favorite fragrances as well from the House of Parfum de Marley. Number one spot goes to Layton. Well, all right, guys, that is it, man. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed uh, the list today. Of course, you guys should because these are the fragrances that you chose of your 10 most complimented fragrances in your collection. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. You don't have to watch, but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or may even find it a little bit entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.